I'm Vanessa Ruck, the girl on a bike, and I'm here with a world first behind me. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how that and what powers it, which is poop, could be the future of what we do on motorcycles. So behind me is the New Holland T6 tractor but it's no ordinary tractor and that is why I'm here with it today. Now you're used to seeing me on motorcycles, so tractors is a little bit abstract and that is because the future of combustion engines is unknown. Everyone's talking about alternative fuels, electric, there's loads of abuse going on about there about electrics not having soul and there's no sound and there's no smell and there's no combustion and this beauty here from New Holland could be something worth popping your ear about in the motorcycle world. So this is a methane powered tractor. It is the first of its kind in the world. And there are some really important things about this tractor that I want to share with you to get our thoughts going about whether poop, which is powering it, could be something that we should be looking at for the motorcycle world. So we all eat food. Agriculture, farming, and the output of farming is all around us but there's a massive byproduct from that. And that byproduct could be slurry pits. It could be coming from digesters, from rotting down food, which creates methane. Methane is something that's not exactly good for our planet, our environment. And we've often talked about the amount of cows that are farting, excuse my language, and it's bad for us. What if we could capture that and use it in our transportation industry? And that's exactly what New Holland have done. They are capturing the methane from farms, which by, I believe, 2026, all slurry pits are gonna have to be capped so that methane doesn't go into the environment. It's being captured and it can run on the tractors. So one of the biggest waste byproduct negatives in the agriculture industry is suddenly becoming a fuel to power it and that closed cycle is really really exciting so this is running off that now so when we look at a lot of the alternative fuels going out there there's very often huge negatives downsides your performance isn't as good this is a regular tractor it's putting out the same brake horsepower as the diesel component it's running the same monstrous michelin tires as normal it's doing all the things that a tractor does but it's run on methane. And so the power, the performance, the output argument, out the window, the, that problem isn't there with methane. There is an element if you want to start to increase the horsepower. So this is the T6 model. When you want to go up to a, a higher horsepower tractor, you do need to increase your fuel availability on the vehicle. Now, you might have spotted this big thing right here. This is actually the range extender, which is only on the methane vehicle. Now, the methane in a tractor, if we go here, you can see there is a tank down here. On the other side, there is another tank. This tractor is carrying about 450 liters of methane, which is a lot more than you'd normally have on a diesel tractor and the range is a little bit lower. So your diesel tractor is going to be putting out about 12 hours of operating time average. This is going to be doing about nine, but with a bigger volume of methane. So there is a little bit of a, a challenge there on the scale. And when you want to start to increase your horsepower, you need more fuel, which means you need more methane. So there are some limitations there, but as a T6 160 brake horsepower tractor, this is it right here. It does it. It's carrying all of the same amount of fuel. The refueling side of things with alternative fuel can be difficult. Uh, we take electric bikes, electric cars. It takes a while to refuel them. You've got to find fueling stations. You've got to sit there and have three cups of tea because maybe it's going to take 40 minutes. You can actually refuel a methane tractor quicker than a diesel tractor. So if we come around the other side, I will show you where the methane goes in. Obviously, this is a pressurized gas. Uh, and it goes in there and in a couple of minutes you can refuel this whole tractor. It's also possible for farmers to have a bowser in the field with additional methane in cylinders to get even more range out of it so that whole range anxiety is gone. If you take that to maybe being on a motorbike, service stations just have a methane supply like they do LPG, petrol or diesel. It's not a dangerous thing to have around. People freak out about there being a massive gas cylinder in here and it could explode. The cylinders in here 
are rated to 700 bar. They are only pressurized to 200 bar for the use of this engine. And so there's a lot of contingency there with the safety. And if you start kicking and poking and prodding a methane tank, it's not going to explode on your face. I think your biggest risk is probably with excess heat. And that's factored into some of the modifications that are done on this vehicle to keep that methane safe. But I don't see that as a, a massive limitation. So you might now be wondering what has been changed to this diesel engine to enable it to be run on methane. I was expecting a long list uh, with Dave from New Holland telling me all of this stuff that's been done to make it run on methane and me being like, oh my goodness, I'm never going to get that back on camera. <laughs> it's got a turbocharger on the other side, which has been modified to be water cooled because with methane, it runs a bit hotter. So we need to keep that temperature down and then it's got the tank modification. So normally this would be a diesel tank which wraps around underneath we've obviously got a methane tank plus the additional tanks around and that's actually all that's been changed now you might now be thinking we're talking about running a motorbike on methane we don't do diesel motorbikes all right smarties that's true there's a few limitations that we haven't tested right now but i'm hoping someone might suddenly go why don't we try making a methane motorcycle. Now, a Dutch guy did do this back in 2021, and he actually harvested the methane from a bog, not like a toilet bog, like a swamp bog, and managed to, to run it. It took him like eight hours to harvest the methane, which is probably worth talking about. The cleaner the methane that you run, are you getting out all of the sulfur and the other chemicals, the better optimized the space you're going to have in the tank is. So the process of cleaning that methane is quite important. And New Holland tend to uh, have a system that gets it to at least 95% purity to maximize that space. I'm definitely rambling on, but there is something really exciting about the idea of using the waste product from the system that feeds us and puts food on the table to run our machines. If tractors can do it, there's no reason why binmen and there's just so many uses why not motorbikes as well uh so if we want to have a show you on the inside of the engine you just took ah, it's huge there we have a diesel engine that runs on methane okay cost that is often what alternative and new technology comes down to can people afford it are they willing to try and afford it this tractor in a diesel option is around 120,000 pounds bearing in mind there are about 12,000 different variations that you can get on tractors. There are 30 different seats for this thing, but you're looking at around that. If you then want the methane option, you're adding around 10,000 pounds, which when you're looking at that sort of sum of money, isn't bank breaking 15 to 20% more. You're gonna to need to spend about 60,000 pounds for the methane extraction processing plant to get it from your pile of poop into fuel that can go into the tanks. And if we take an example, so I'm going to quote Lord Muck. He's a big tractor kind of genius guy on YouTube. He worked out that if you do around a thousand engine hours in a diesel tractor versus a methane tractor, a thousand engine hours, which for a farmer apparently isn't very much, you're going to save about 20,000 pounds. So you only need to do four and a half thousand ish hours with one tractor that is, and it's paid for itself. And then you're suddenly running your farm off free fuel. So why can't the rest of industry tap into the waste product that's feeding us and putting food on the table and utilize that as a fuel to propel our fun on motorbikes, to propel our cars or our vehicles? Who knows? I've ridden quite a few electric motorcycles. You can see a fair few of them on my channel, the Energica, the, the little trials bike, the E-Pure, e and you'll see that I'm a big fan of electric vehicles. But it doesn't mean I necessarily think electric is the future. My gut tells me we haven't necessarily found the future fuel yet. Part of me is saying that because of battery technology, the weight of technology, the process of actually creating batteries and lithium pools and all that kind of stuff. And with methane, it is a by waste product of something that's already happening and it's there in existence. But there are still things in my head that's making me wonder, could that have negative side effects as well? So if you think about the creation of methane, are we going to end up in a situation where farmers are maybe setting up digesters and growing fields and fields of crops just to put in the digester to rot to make methane to sell it because they realize that fossil fuels and petrol is getting so expensive but if they can create methane they can sell 
and compete and are we going to end up in some kind of fuel pricing or who knows it's one of those things where you never quite know the ripple effects and repercussions of things until things start to happen but i do know quite comfortably that we have methane floating around all over the place in our agricultural industry and this seems like a really sensible way to utilize it and turn a waste into something positive let me know what you think. Do you think methane could be a option in the future? Let me know if you've got any questions in the comments below. I am not a technical scientist, so if you ask me something really complicated, I might freak out and uh, seek help to answer it, but I will do my best. I'm Vanessa Rupp, the girl on a bike, stood next to the biggest tractor tire. Actually, this isn't the big one. Come back to this one. This one here is as tall as me and weighs 850 kilos. Um, it's actually a Michelin cross-grip monster. Anyway, that's me over and out. Is methane going to be the future? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.